we're having a quick look at Evernote as an observational tool and possibly uh, for the use of ePortfolios. Now I am of the opinion that the individual or the student should be collecting as much evidence as they can but for example in the early childhood area it might be more practical for a teacher to be doing this. Uh, certainly as an observational tool Evernote is good at any level. Evernote itself is available on the internet or you can use it from a mobile device like a tablet, iPad or even any type of smartphone. In this example I'm using a Samsung Galaxy tablet. As you can see on my home screen I have an Evernote widget. Just by clicking on this it will get me into the system and I can start taking notes. Initially a new unsaved note will be created and you have the option of saving that note to a particular notebook. Now in this example I have a student 1 ePortfolio as the example so I just choose that student's ePortfolio and make that note about them. So how do you make a note? Well they're quite versatile in the fact that you can use text, you can make audio recordings, you can take photos and you can annotate those uh, photos as well or just uh, make written notes from your tablet or device. On this screen you can see all of your different notes in one place that includes your audio, your pictures, annotations and text. An important feature to mention is tagging. They're just keywords that help you find information at a later date and this can be really important if you have kept a lot of notes. This last screenshot is what my notebook looks like altogether uh, with an Evernote on my tablet. We're going to go now and have a look at what uh, the teacher would see on their personal computer. Right, so I've logged into Evernote which is at evernote.com. Just on the left hand side you'll see my different notebooks and Ideally, if you're using this for a classroom, you would set up a portfolio for each student. I just have one in this example. You'll see that I have uh, tags down the side as well to help me find information. Now, I've gone straight to Student 1's ePortfolio, and the particular note that I created before is visible within here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can see everything that's been added into it, including the audio. Uh, and notes that I created. Now let's say that you want to share this note with the parent. Click the share button and you can use this link to send it directly uh, within an email uh, to the parent themselves. Right there are more options and sharing the notebook permanently is one way of doing that as well. Let's have a look. Start sharing who would you like to share it with? An individual and this way parents uh, will have continual access to that uh, ePortfolio.